Welcome back to the North Precise Podcast. I'm Lauren Muse. I'm Philip Sorry. Adam Muse. And I'm Jalen Hardy. And we're going to talk about the fall sports from this year. Um, our football team did really well. They went 5-7. and seven, And they placed tied for second in the conference in the right Yeah, yes, tied for second in the conference. Um... We had a really good season this year. It was kind of better than last year because we actually made the playoffs this year. So, you know, that was kind of a big thing for our school. So, um, we had a home home playoff? Yes, and we did win the homecoming game against Asheboro. It's all good. Um, We have um, everybody who made all conference this year uh, Kashawn Coleman, uh, Traquan Mason, Kyla Muma, Marvin Young. and Jawan Thomas, so kudos to them. And didn't Kyle and Krishan break some school records? Um, yes, um, I think uh, Krishan broke touchdown passes and I think uh, touchdown yardage. He uh, had about 23, 24 touchdowns this year passing, and Kyle Newman had eight touchdowns this year, which was a big, was, was which was a big accomplishment, I mean, accomplishment for them, so. Good. Um, the other teams that we had were soccer, boys soccer. Um, they did really good this year. They uh, got to the second round of the state playoffs and um, they had um, a lot of people representing for uh, all conference teams. They had Jonathan Ramirez, Esu Suerta, uh, Sammy Chicago, Ronaldo Garcia, Angel. Arlano, Gonzalo Rojo, and Hot Tip. They had a really good team this year. Um, they worked really hard. Worked yeah. really hard, yeah. Um, re- Representing Northside really well. Um, and I know Coach Timmons puts a, a lot of work into it uh, mm-hmm. all year round. Especially. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, sound like especially in the off season, just to see their preparation towards the season, as far as hitting the weight room and and spending lots of hours after school, just just getting ready for everything. So you know, so it seems like Coach Timmons is really dedicated to the soccer team. That's why they're always been good. They even had practices before school. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. It's crazy. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And uh, last, we have the volleyball team. Unfortunately, they went 0 and 10, but they worked real hard. Um, Jenna Cook made all conference. Yeah, Jenna Cook made all the conference. Wait, 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 wait. This is girls tennis. Girls tennis. tennis. Girls tennis. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's just yeah. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 stop it. Stop it. Um, Mackenzie James. Uh, represents North for uh, the cross country team. I know the lot works really hard for cross country. Yeah, yeah. 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 They are very dedicated to getting their times right and yeah, shine. Yeah, making sure they represent very well. Yeah. Our volleyball team went two and seventeen. We're going back to the volleyball team. The volleyball team they went two and seventeen. They went really hard and. And my own team. I feel like they're kind of young, so this upcoming year they'll be better. Yeah, hopefully, like a lot of maturity coming into this year, everything right. will go good. So, girls, too, they did have Jenna Cook. Just go ahead. Yeah. And conference for, but they didn't win a game. But they had some good individuals. And tennis is pretty hard to play. Yeah. You have a child. It's yeah. more complicated than you think. Yeah. So I give them mad props. Big kudos. Big kudos. Big kudos. Shouts out to Jenna. We'll be right back.